Alright, so this is what it looks like when we burp the ferments. We've been doing it two to three times a day, depending on if we see it building up more quickly. But this is what it looks like. You can see the bubbles popping up through all of the different vegetables and everything that are in there. I did notice we have a couple of okra that are starting to float in this jar and come up around the weight, so I am going to get in there and push those back down. And we have noticed that the cauliflower is starting to float a little bit more, so I am going to put a weight in there. We have these little wee jars that are made by YoPlay yogurt, um, the wee yogurts that they have. And they seem to fit right down into the mason, the um, wide mouth mason jars and hold everything down pretty well. So we've been using those because we can't find actual weights without having to order them on Amazon. Um, but that's the simple process of burping your ferments. You can definitely smell the ferment working when you burp them. Um... These have been going, see we went last Friday to the produce market, so they've been going a little less than a week. We want to give them at least 10 days before we try them out. So I will check back with you guys later today. Well, starting the morning off right with an adventure. I know that there are still some 2x4s floating around in the barn. primarily what you see above me oh that's gonna be a treat um so hoping to have enough to do what I need to so I can get the door built and the additional framing done in the barn or for the chicken coop in the barn so scurry myself up there and see what I can find no, oh, I actually just climbed the ladder. But I also realized that nobody has actually seen the upper part of the barn, or at least not to my knowledge. It's somewhere between a treasure trove of, I can use this, and I, I don't know what the thought process was when this got put here but we have wood scraps stuff that looks like it's come out of the house or another structure in the building or on the property got boards ran across the top lots of hay over here and it's old, old hay, so no good for like feeding anything, but beautiful for bedding. And then we have the back end of the barn, which is pretty well open. Got a little bit of hay bales and stuff up here, too. Most of the strings have already been broken on them, though. And the openings that go down and into where the chickens will be it's part of their feed system take the hay bale cut it drop it so I'm gonna have to secure all this because definitely don't want any kind of ferrets or weasels or anything along those lines getting up here and going down to help themselves to the inside of the chicken coop. But like I said, I, it dawned on me that nobody is actually like 
shown that, at least not to my knowledge. So I figured I'd share. Well, I was hoping for three, but managed to come across two, and this one's just massive in length. So that one will go really, really far for me. Then I found the second one that is pretty close. So that should do for everything that I'm going to need. Unfortunately, I am half fighting with myself because it's really tempting to take a two by six and that's not one by six. Cut it into thirds. But I don't really want to do that because, well, that's a beautiful length and depending on what I need later on down the line, I don't want to sacrifice this and wind up kicking myself later. And I'm pretty sure at the moment that these are the two boards that Seth found the other day that we didn't come to collect just because we didn't have a need for it at that moment. But, definitely chalk that up to a win. Well, I'm having one of those days that apparently I'd forget my head if it wasn't attached. Mr. Brown reminded me about some boards that we had collected a little, like a week or two ago. A little bit more manageable. So, those are split. That'll give me more than what I need to make the door and to start running some additional supporting for where the nesting boxes are going to go and where the chicken wire is going to run so that I can eliminate some of these larger gaps. Because I can literally stand up in this opening and my head isn't touching it. Yeah, I don't trust that for any kind of real predator to turn if it wants in at that rate. Even just cutting that in half would be phenomenal for that. But, figured I'd let you know where we were at. First thing I'm going to be doing is trying to get that door squared out. As soon as that's out of the way, you start looking at doing some of the supporting. Okay.
ran into a small dilemma. One of the boards for the door is twisted. That's no good if once it's set into place it's going to be kicked out in one of the corners. However, there is an easy way to get around this issue and it's just a matter of replacing that board. However, for what I'm using, the secondary supports and the framing for a twisted board will be fine. That being said, it means taking one of the sides off of the door, cutting about two inches off of it, and it's going to go across here, here to there. And then cutting another board and securing it onto the side of the door so it's squared and not going to be fighting with anything. Unfortunately, this is one of those kind of suck it up and deal with it. So that's what we're going to do. Well, got the door done. Took a lot longer than desired, but she's ready. Just gotta get hinges so we can actually install it. That was a heavy door. But once that goes up, only way in and out will be through her. Still gotta get the cross beams up. Like I said it took a lot longer than it should have to make a door. Seth came out about an hour, hour and a half ago. 10.30, it's after 12. And it's already afternoon, so I've been out here trying to deal with this for like three hours now. It's a lot, lot longer than it should have been. But that's done. I need to stop and get some food in my system because I'll have a bad habit of not doing that in the mornings, but Mr. Brown did cook breakfast this morning. So I at least have something in me. Now I gotta go get a little bit more. But, wanted to check in. Oh, well, now that we've got a little bit more pure personal fuel, it's time to start measuring and getting some support set. Oh, measure, cut, secure. 
but yeah, it's definitely become a world of difference in here. Okay. Well, may not seem like I've gotten much out of this so far. It doesn't feel like I've gotten much out of this so far. But this has also been one of those days where absolutely everything, the moment I started trying to build, has just been fighting with me and taking a lot longer than it should have. But I'm going to have to chalk this up to another day where any kind of progress is a good kind. Not finished yet. But I got to try and hunt down materials, figure out what I'm going to do. I want to try and build a sloped nesting box right? or a, a roll away, which I want to do that in this section right here. That way the eggs don't get as dirty, a lot easier to collect them. But I'm going to have to, like I said, look for some materials and figure that out. I believe Bear Dog has been sleeping in here. I believe. I don't know for sure. Definitely looks like something has been. But, figured I'd check in.